Greetings and salutations. My name is Terry Andrews Jr., also known as the J5 Guru. And on behalf of myself and the team at Input Inc., we'd like to welcome you to the Input Inc. Builder Community on Facebook. So, what is Input Inc.? Simply put, Input Inc. is a team of eight currently active members that have a passion for the Johnny Five robot. Two of us, myself and Ramon, had the privilege of actually disassembling, uh, measuring, and meticulously documenting the construction of the actual robots from the movies. In addition to that, I also meticulously disassembled, documented, and repaired the original tool arm from the first movie. The other members of our team are Martin, Andrew, Kyle, Sean, Tyler, Dave Hall, and Dave Stapley. All of these people have skill sets in particular areas. They have things that they bring to the table. Um, some of them are machining, fabrication, um, sourcing of parts, funding, um, prototyping, uh, CAD and design work, electronics, um, just a, a vast, you know, a 3D printing, um, yeah, just a lot of different skill sets. No one individual on the team knows everything. And it would be in your best interest um, to make friends with every single one of these people because at some point uh, you will require their help and expertise. Who is welcome within our group? Well, pretty much anyone with an interest in robotics and in particular the Johnny Five robot. We encourage your active participation uh, within the group and also helping one another out. So, code of conduct, if you will. Basically, don't be a jerk. Don't be doing anything uh, that's going to create problems for any of the members or administrators or moderators within this group, okay? Any profanity you choose to use within a post, I would uh, respectfully ask that you abbreviate it or that you use special characters to get your point across, but we will have younger members and we don't, they don't need to be seeing that sort of profanity. And also, and that this may be a cultural thing, but for those of you that did not get the memo, uh, the C word is considered highly offensive to women, okay? Um, let's refrain from using that word. Now, if anybody is found to be violating rules, creating problems for members, moderators, administrators, so on and so forth, um, you may receive a warning, you may not, depending upon the severity of your infraction. Um, your membership within this group is a privilege, it is not a right. We reserve the right to remove you without notice if we see that you are a problem. So the idea here is everyone helps everyone out and is kind to one another. Uh, and we get on with the, you know, building of Johnny Five robots, okay? Not to be yelling and screaming at each other and creating all kinds of problems for people that just want to have fun building one of these very cool robots. So, there it is. You've been warned. Conduct yourselves appropriately and accordingly. So, what is it that this group can do for you? Well, simply put, we are the experts on Johnny Five. We are the gurus. Um, Two of us, myself and Ramon, worked on actual Johnny Five robots. Um, and all the other members have invested uh, just, count, you know, years and thousands of hours, uh, you know, helping with design and, and fabrication and prototyping and testing of the designs. Uh, so, yeah. So if one of us team members, you know, you ask us a question and we say, no, it won't work or, you know, um, you know, we did it this way for a reason. Just take us at our word. We know what we're talking about. Uh, <laughs> it's not to be abrasive or anything like that, um, but it, it kind of is what it is in that respect. 
So what we are doing is we are going to be putting the CAD, the design files out there for people to build from. Um, do so and 99.9% um, .9 of you should not run into a problem provided that you adhere to the, uh, uh, the designs. Now, with that being said, uh, we are human. Uh, we make mistakes. So if you, in the course of, uh, you know, working with the designs and you, you come across a problem, um, ask us. Uh, if we indeed find that there is a, a, a mistake that was made, we will immediately um, let you folks know in the group and, uh, and we will modify the CADs so that in the next follow-up release, the update, if you will, we will have corrected uh, any issues that have been brought to our attention. Uh, so yeah, that's what we can do for you. So things that uh, we cannot or will not do for you. Okay. Um, yeah, we're not going to get into any long-term, you know, long uh, drawn out discussions about the movies or the actors or, or anything like that. Uh, yeah, we're, we're mainly focused on building Johnny Five robots. Okay. Uh, there are other groups out there that, that you can join that are more fan-based and, and oriented towards that type of discussion. Uh, other things we will not do, we will not build Johnny Five robots for you. We are hobbyists, okay? Um, we're not interested in any way whatsoever in building a Johnny Five robot for you, um, period, okay? <laughs> not to mention, you couldn't afford us. <laughs> um, and... To that, yeah, the other golden question is, how much does it cost to build a Johnny Five robot? I don't know. How long is a piece of string? Yeah, it's one of those great mysteries in life, okay? Uh, anyone that tells you they have a firm number is probably off by, uh, uh, you know, anywhere from a thousand to, you know, tens of thousands of dollars. So it is what it is. Um, parts runs. There may be members uh, within the group or uh, maybe a team member of ours that decides they want to do a parts run, okay? Um, the other team members, Input Inc. itself, will have nothing to do with that, okay? So if you go into a parts run with anyone, that is on you. That is a what we're going to consider a, uh, a personal transaction between two individuals, okay? Regardless of how many people go on the parts run, we will not mediate or negotiate or in any way participate in trying to make things right if they go sideways. If, uh, you know, whatever happens, okay, that's all on you. Um, yeah, we, nope, we are completely out of that sort of transaction. We want no part of it. So you've been warned in that respect. Uh, buyer beware. So I'm going to try to wrap this up and put this all in a nice little bow. Uh, made myself a little cheat sheet here so I hit on some topics uh, so I don't forget. So, okay, friend request. Uh, yeah. I love all of you, but I can't accept your friend request. There's too many of you. My phone would be just going off 24-7. Uh, so, no, I can't accept your friend request on Facebook or whatever else. Uh, so, please, with all due respect, um, yeah, it, it is what it is. Uh, yeah, I I have a life. <laughs> I've got to sleep. Uh, things of that nature. So, yeah, can't accept your friend request. Uh, if you have a question for me directly, post it to the group. Uh, eventually, I'll see it. If I don't, just keep reposting, you know, bug me until I see it, take notice to it, and I'll reply back to you. Uh, okay, so uh, next thing. Uh, uh, this is something I missed on the last portion, which is things that we cannot do. We cannot go back and change the existing designs, okay? We cannot, you can't unring a bell, okay? If we put a design out there and you come back and you say, wow, you could have done it so much simpler doing it this way that's great and we'll probably be kicking ourselves in the backside for not thinking of your great idea unfortunately 
people will have already started building that particular assembly and, and going off of that design. Uh, so yeah, we can't go back and change it. Um, and we do have instances uh, like the quick release design. I, I think it was Dave Hall that uh, originally, uh, or it may have been Dave Stapley, one of the two Daves, uh, that, that started to build my quick release track design, which is where the tracks can quickly be released so that you can make the robot lighter for transporting it and then also uh, get it through a thin door because Johnny Five's tracks are quite wide. Um, so I made this quick release system and uh, he built it and he said, yeah, he said, um, we got a problem. The quick release system don't work because you physically can't get to the bolts to remove them that then allow the tracks to be removed. So I had to scramble and come up with an entirely new design um, that would, you know, would use modified existing parts uh, rather than, you know, saying, hey, you have to have all new boomerang plates made and a new track tip tube in order to use a, this new design I come up with. It was, it's just non-viable. Uh, so, um, while I, you know, we do go back and make, you know, changes to designs, they are inevitably just a, a, an upgrade, a modification of existing parts. So there you go. So we can't go back and change things just because you found a better way of doing it or because you don't like the way, you know, what we come up with. So, uh, okay. Uh, your suggestions. Yes. Oh, yeah share okay if you got a great idea share it with the community there may be somebody else out there that decides to use your latest and greatest idea that's fine but you do so on your own remember we're releasing worldwide here uh we we just can't go back and and uh and change things with that also being said now that i think about it metric system Many of you are going to be using metric fasteners, uh, metric hardware. You'll, you will have to figure that out on your own. While there is some metric hardware in the robot, uh, the originals were designed to use the imperial standard for hardware. So there are going to be instances where you're going to have to figure that part of the design out for your own and use you know common sense and study the design and, and see if you can use metric hardware in place of imperial okay a lot of places you may be able to get away with that a lot of other places you better stick to imperial bite the bullet yeah it's going to cost you more to import imperial parts but you know it's designed that way because that's the way the originals were built and we are located we're u.s based so imperial hardware is easy for us to get and metric is actually the harder one for you know for us to get uh here in the united states okay so um share the designs share the cad files okay um we encourage that okay but for god's sake give us credit okay do not try to pass the designs off as your own okay if you're going building verbatim from our designs and then stamping your name on the thing uh, yeah don't do that jerk move okay <laughs> we have spent years and spent ungodly amounts of money providing this to you for free the very least you can do is reciprocate and give us credit okay we worked very hard on these designs we've worked very hard to bring this to you for free give us credit and i already know there's some of you out there that have things on thingiverse our designs but you've got your name stamped on them giving us no credit yeah jerk move uh we don't appreciate it um they say that uh you know what is it that uh imitation is the sincerest form of flattery yeah but taking credit for someone else's work not cool stop it
don't do it. Okay? You've been warned. And if you're a member and we find you're doing that, we're going to boot you. Just, uh, just on principle. <laughs> okay. So, uh, yep, uh, last one. Do not pass off as your own. <laughs> So that's about it. Uh, I'm sorry the video. I, I tried to make it as short as I could. This last part's running long on me. But yeah. I think this will be a really great thing. We're going nowhere. Okay. It's not like the last group where it's just, you know, 5,000 members and somebody comes along one day and decides, yeah. You know, they decide to play Thanos. And, and <laughs> in that case, they wipe everyone out, not just 50%. So, uh, okay, that's, uh, that's about it, guys and ladies. Um, enjoy the group, okay? Enjoy the group, and I think this will be fantastic. I, I'm, I'm looking forward, like you wouldn't believe, to seeing what you folks come up with. What you, yep, your creativity, yep. Uh, and, and again, it's, it's going to be just, yep. Don't worry if you don't know about robotics. Hey, listen, none of us on this team are an expert in every single thing, okay? Uh, you, you'll, you'll learn progressively. Don't rush it. Enjoy the process, okay? Enjoy the build. Enjoy the community, the collaboration, the camaraderie of working with people in, in parts of the world that you just never thought you would have the opportunity to be able to do and that share the same interests that you do. So that's it. Enough of my babbling. Video's over. All right. Terry Andrews Jr., J5 Guru, saying bye for now. And as always, the monkey pushes the button. <laughs>